Hi there, welcome back. This is Mustafa Ahmed. In today's video, you'll learn how to make a physics function by Petrol. And then uh, I'm going to explain J function. What do we mean by J function? How can we use it? And what is the point of using J function? So let's start. In the previous video, I've talked about how can we make a fluid model and I've explained how to make oil formation volume factor, uh, oil viscosity and um, RS. So in today's video, we'll continue with rock physics function and uh, we'll learn how uh, to make saturation function, um, compaction function, adsorption and we'll put J function parameters. Uh, so let's start with saturation, and uh, but before that, let me tell you that uh, rock physic function in 2017 version in reservoir engineering, but in 2009 or older versions you can find them find it in simulation. Uh, so press on it and this window will open uh, here as you know i'm working in a reservoir that don't have gas cap so i won't select this option uh, and here uh, the type of the formation shell i will select shelly sand to take the shell uh, into account so just to press on it Press apply and you will find rock physic function in your input and shell it and in it you can find oil water relative permeability and water oil capillary pressure. So if you display relative permeability you will see this uh, but this is not correct or it's not accurate. I have more accurate data from uh, laboratory and uh, I can put them right here right click on it and show spreadsheet delete this and put the accurate data from lab okay I'll get this data copy it then put it right here here I have two here should be one one press on apply and this is the accurate one now if you notice that uh, our reservoir or it's actually for a core sample but here the course the core sample represents uh, our reservoir so we can say that our reservoir we have uh, mixed width it's not oil width or water width it's mixed width uh, to show you that let me um, okay. Now here, okay, right here, if you can notice that the green line represents mixed width and the here the plot that we've got uh, it looks like the that one so we have water or mixed wet all right so let's go to capillary pressure and if you can notice it's not uh, here but I will uh, put uh, bring the data from uh, my excel sheet right here so I have here I have water saturation with capillary pressure but I want to explain how uh, we got these data I don't get this data from uh, PVT report directly we've done some calculations so let me go to whiteboard and explain it for you
Now, uh, we have more than one core. And so on. Uh, for every single core we done in the laboratory uh, test to calculate uh, a capillary pressure from water saturation Okay, so here we have uh, to use an equation and J function equals Point two one six five BC over interficial tension times permeability over five. All right, so from this equation, we can find J function for every single core. On your J. And then uh, we are going to plot this uh, now, this is the first core, this is the second one, or let me use the colors. So here the red point represents the core number one, and the blue one represents the second one, core, and the third one represents uh, the third core. Alright, so here we are going to float j function with water saturation so it's just a rescale because the previous plot between uh, capillary pressure and <coughs> water saturation alright so here we are going to get uh, points like this from the first one and then from the second core we are going to get this for example and this is the third one so now what we're going to do is to draw the best line between them and then we are going to get these values so this is the first point and this is the second one and this is the third one so finally we are going to get table between um, J function as W with water saturation and the data here represent the average core data 
So if we want to find capillary pressure, PC, we are going to use this formula and uh, we're going to calculate PC. But here we are going to use the average permeability and average porosity. All right. So here, when we calculated J function, we use the average permeability for co for core number two and average porosity for core number two. And so the same thing with core number three and core number one. But when we want to find the final capillary pressure, I mean this value, uh, we will use the average for the cores. Like we are going to get permeability average for core number one plus permeability average for core number two and permeability average for core number three over the number of cores. All right. And the same thing with porosity. We are going to get the average often. So that's why, uh, so that's how we found uh, capillary pressure, and this is the final result of it. We have sa water saturation with capillary pressure. So we are going to get this table and put it right here. All right, place on apply, and this is the plot between capillary pressure and water saturation. If we want to convert it to a J function with water saturation, we can simply right click on it and then press on convert and supply it, and it will, Petrol will use this formula to convert a J function to capillary pressure. Okay, so this is about uh, relative permeability and water oil J function. So now let's calculate the convection. Here I have to put the minimum pressure, maximum pressure, and uh, pressure reference with raw compressibility. I have the pressure in this unit, so I have to change it. All right. The minimum pressure is 139, 441, 440, and the rock compaction is 6 okay so now uh, we have adsorption and adsorption, we're going to use the correlation of Langmuir isotherm. Uh, let me show you the formula for it. So Langmuir isotherm is a representation of how the number of molecules adsorbed. Uh, as you know that we have uh, oil.
oil and water in the reservoir we don't have gas cap so we're going to use this formula or petrol actually we'll use this one so let's go back to petrol and uh, the correlation is Langmuir isotherm here and the type of it also like shell lean press on apply and okay finally we have J function parameters uh, uh, interficial tension we have it for oil and water I've got the value from skull report and it's 33.5 I don't have it for gas press on apply and this is the final result of it